Brads, if you've been following the channel a while, you know that we primarily focus on virtual reality technology, but we also do some reviews as far as stuff that can make your life as a content creator or just a general gamer a little easier. Today we've got a product that's shooting to do that. It advertised itself as the longest distance wireless charger in the world. I'm pretty excited to see what that means. Let's just open this thing up. They're making it look fancy here. InvisKey. InvisKey wireless charger, not visible to the eye. It even tells you that it's a noun. Has a QR code on the back to tell you what's going on with it. Measuring guide, comes with a measuring guide, how helpful. It's time for you to experience the future. Congratulations on being an early adopter. We would like to extend a hand and offer your friends and family a special promo code using this code. I'll leave that in the description for you in case if I do decide to recommend this product. Now always make sure you got that small, sharp unboxing knife. Wait, I feel like we're actually opening something pretty fancy. They make it look really premium here. And apparently the more premium a box is, the harder it is to get it off the freaking top. You remember that with that Oculus Quest charger? Open. Okay. Interesting. I'm guessing this is just the mat that would go on top if you wanted to, to put a sticker there to know where you put it underneath. This is the charger itself. It's got two screw holes on the back. It looks beefy and massive. And then this is probably all your goodies to get it hooked up. Your one goodie to get it hooked up. Some assembly required and some uh, instructions are gonna be important. Very generic instructions here kind of shows you, but you're definitely gonna wanna either look up a guide or watch the rest of this video to learn. This right here is to test this. So the whole idea with this thing is that you're supposed to install this underneath a cupboard, underneath your desk, underneath whatever you want. So if you're one of those gamers that's got a gamer desk and it looks really clean, unlike mine, you have just a monitor, just a wireless keyboard, you can install this under your desk and you would now have a spot on your desk that would charge your phone for you. And people go, what? Because you just drop it on the desk. That's what this is meant to do. So they give you this so that after you ins try installing this thing, you can test it by seeing, okay, am I getting a wireless charge through this surface? So when you look at this, there's two screw holes on the bottom, so those, would screw into there, and then you can screw this into the bottom of your desk, bottom table, whatever you want, and it should sit up like this. So this side is the top. They make it a fancy looking side, which is funny because it's gonna be invisible anyways. And then you can you can hold this up to see how it does. Now they say it's supposed to go about 1.181 inches. And an inch, when you see it in actuality, an inch is not far, but I mean, even with their tester, you're getting about an inch. So this isn't quite as, as fancy as I was hoping. I was hoping it's gonna be a couple inches so you could even like pick up your phone and kind of mess with it and it would still be charging. As far as this being the longest range wireless in the world, I don't know. Let's see at what point I can get this thing to start charging if it's just floating here. Okay. Right now it's charging. So I mean, that's kind of impressive to literally have the phone floating that far. So we're getting almost two inches. That's with no case on the phone. And this isn't trying to go through the desk or anything right now. So it's showing that we're getting a charge through a decently thick table. This table's just about one inch thick, exactly. You gotta be decently exact. It's only gonna be maybe an inch each direction, not like an inch total. It's so like a half inch each way of play that you can kind of mess with this. Even if you put this under your desk or table, you're probably gonna need at least some sort of marker to kind of keep in mind where it's gonna be. Like you can put it at the very corner and then you'd know, okay, if I put my phone right near the corner, it's gonna work there. I'll give you this sticker where you could put this down, but that kind of defeats the whole purpose in my mind. I want it to look so clean. This does work. It works through the desk, it charges through the desk, but it's gonna be up to you to kind of figure out where can I put this under a desk if I'm gonna use it that's gonna actually be somewhere. I know I can leave my phone there, it's gonna charge, but it's not gonna be terribly obvious. Cause if you use this, 
it's still cool. You don't see this big old thing up there. Not as impressive, I think, as just having a corner of the desk. You might even, if you have like a desk that has like a shelf or something on top, put this thing all the way under the corner where when you put your phone all the way in, that's how you know it charges. They include everything you need. So they include 3M stick tape. You'd put these here to stick it on. And then they include the screws if you wanted to. You've got four little screws that would go into the desk through there. And then two little tiny screws that then will hold this in place in here. We're here in Nat's workspace right now. So as you can see, she's got a small desk, not a lot of space on. She already has a wireless charger that she's been using. We're gonna replace this with this new in-desk one. So we're gonna be mounting that up under here so that anytime she sets a phone, wireless headphones, anything she wants to in that zone, it should be charging it through the desk. So, so we will need the sensor. I've gone ahead and attached the 3M sticks all the way to it right here. So for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in, I'm gonna run it under there and test it. And when I find the right spot, I'll unhook these slap this on there. And then I will probably use at least one or two of the included screws to hold it on just in case that 3M needs some time to cure. Now I was envisioning it a little closer to the edge, but the way this clip is designed under here, this sticks out quite a ways. And you can't really, the only thing I could do is I could put it in this way, but then it's not gonna be easily removable. Cause once that's stuck up there and this is stuck in here with this, I'm not gonna be able to pull this thing out if I need to. So I think I'm just gonna go with it this way. And that's really as far back as it'll go. So this is gonna be pretty easy. I'm just holding that up there while the 3M really gets stuck on. I'm probably just gonna put one screw in for good measure. It really feels like that 3M is gonna be more than enough stick. And I don't really wanna put a bunch of holes in the desk. It also includes two screws that you can hook the actual wireless charger itself in place where it won't move. They're tiny little screws. It's gonna be hard to get such a tiny thing in the hole right. But we're gonna make it happen. With that screw in there, it does feel very solid. I could put the other screw in there. It's unnecessary, I'm not gonna bother. So now, if she wants to charge her work phone while she's working, throws it on there and it's charging on the desk. In practice, that actually looks really cool. Got wireless headphones here that also wirelessly charge. So that is pretty cool. Let's talk about price first, because that is the gonna be the biggest, biggest deciding factor on whether or not you're gonna wanna get one of these. Now, if you were to buy a normal wireless charger, a fast wireless charger from your mobile phone carrier, you're probably looking at paying about 60 bucks. If you wanna buy this, this is $119. So you are paying a huge premium, basically for a flex. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be useful and it's gonna be cool to be able to put your phone on, on whatever table or desk you want to charge it. But really, you're gonna have this somewhere where you're gonna be doing this in front of your friends. You're gonna be showing people it. This is not something I imagine most people are just gonna do for themselves. Maybe if you're really into your clean gaming setup, but you're like, gosh, I need to be able to charge my phone here. Maybe you're gonna go for it, but that is a serious price. I don't expect anybody to buy one of these uh, at that price. I will leave a link in the description. I I do want to disclose that that link is linked to me and a portion would go to supporting the channel if you do, but that's a lot of money. I personally wouldn't buy this myself unless I was crazy about my gaming setup and really wanted this cool thing or, or if I was trying to show off to somebody and had this on my coffee table. So whenever people are over, I'm like, hey, put your phone on my coffee table. It charges it. That's not something I would do, but that's the only reason I could imagine doing it. It's really cool that it works like this. It's a really cool idea. I'm excited to have one. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Is this cool technology that you think an early adopter should have? Is this something that's gonna be marketed to a very niche audience? People who just really want that super clean desk look. What do you think? One other random thing, I would have probably considered using this if it was just this part. This is just too big for the desktop. If it was just that part, it wouldn't really be that noticeable on your desk. It would tell you where to put your phone. But this huge thing, I mean, I might even cut just that part out and keep it where I'm going to have it. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear your opinion on it. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I will see you in another reality. I want to say the biggest thank you to those of you who have become channel members and any of you who have ever been patrons of ours. Gallium VR, Chris Deputy, Legacy VR, Bagel, and Afissi King Sloth, our current channel members, our patrons, K27, Rocket Sauce28, K Panda K, Fred Nebatebo, Ege Karatosh, Maddie's, Gallium VR, Orange VR, and Mr. Dodojo. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting the channel.